All right, once again, Ram Dino and Come Along are hitting the trail, and this time it is not the AT, believe it or not. We are on the Foothills Trail up in South Carolina, and we are doing, I guess it's west to east. So we are doing, um, starting at Oconee State Park and going up to Table Rock State Park. So our first section, we're going to do about 8.5 down the Chattooga River, and... Uh, once again, Fresh Ground has um, decided he wants to tag along. We tried not to let him know we were coming, but he just shows up. And uh, <laughs> so, and I know he'll watch this, so uh, we love you, Fresh Ground. But anyway, we're going to get on trail. First campsite's to Tugariga, 8.5. We'll see what happens after that, and uh, we will stay tuned. So, all right, here we go. I know y'all been expecting great things out of come along this time, and so uh, I always do. Most of the time I'm disappointed, but all right, come along. What do you got to say at the beginning of this trip? Um, trip for healing uh, is what this is. And the only other thing is I'm going to change my last name to Way. So let's go. Come away. Is it come along. Instead of come away, it's come along. Come a long way. Oh, come a long way. All right. That was the most profound thing I've ever heard him say in my life, even not on film. So, here we go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Yeah. As did Mount Rogers. Yeah, right. It really wasn't anything. No. You, know, you can get across really pretty easy, but the detour was up the road a whole lot harder. It was a road walk. Alright, 20 minute check in. So been on the trail for about 20 minutes. And so far, I'm liking it. Uh, begin with, we got a treadway. Have not seen hardly any rocks or roots on it. I mean, they're under these neat, underneath these leaves, I'm sure. But this is nice. And then, uh, fourth day is a great day. We'll try to make some miles. Rest of the week is questionable, except for the Wednesday. That's not questionable. It's going to be rain. Anyway, we'll see. But this Foothills Trail and enjoying it so far, my plantar fasciitis has not reared its head, and so far I'm loving that too. I've got some new, couple new things in addition to my treatment that I've been doing, a couple new gear. So I've got Brooks. I don't know what the heck these things are. Brooks. What's that say there? Cascadia? Yep. Brooks Cascadia 16s and I've got me the medium thickness sole insoles rather than the Brooks that came came with it. So we're going to see how that oh and I'm also trying some NG NG liners which I never thought I would want to have my toes in separate little pockets i was all i felt like i'd get grunge in them and that would cause blisters but anyhow we just got on trail so the grunge is to come anyhow we got come along back there and gryffindor gryffindor back there so we got royalty among us because gryffindor is a through hiker he who threw hiked in 2020, the year, the be all year for through hikers. Started, tried in 2019 and did not finish, so he came back in 2020. The worst possible year, the through hike, and of course, some people think it's the best possible year, but anyhow, made it all the way. I asked him, I said, How far did you get? And, he said, oh, this little mountain up north called Katahdin. So he's already set the, uh, he's already set the bar for, how he, I think he's been listening to fresh ground too much. Gonna pick on me the whole time. I already feel it coming. Him and fresh ground gonna gang up on me. Anyhow, 
we are uh, going on down the trail and uh, looking pretty good. A lot of waterfalls. We might see a few of them, but do I show them? One thing is this trail is white blaze, so I almost feel at home. All right, we're going this way. We're not going off trail. All right, chat with you in a bit. So this is the advantage of hiking in winter time, even though it's 50 or 60, it may be getting up to 70 degrees. But anyway, views are so much better. So you guys are starting out at AT down in Virginia early. Man, you're in for some really nice views at those folks coming in. You know, April, May, the trees are greening up. Don't get. So, but, yeah, you can just see some miles. And then, you know, even on the other side of the mountain over there, you can get to see stuff. So, that's, uh, that's pretty awesome. Good, good time in this particular weather. Remember that. Remember that for later. In this particular weather. These trail maintainers, they do a bang up job here. I mean, they'll put a set of steps somewhere where you, it's really not necessary, but they are some bridge building fools. This is the third bridge I've come to and I ain't even gone six miles. And I mean, AT, they just, they just let you go over it and wear the banks out. So bridge building is not such a bad idea. Yeah. It's not in keeping with the wilderness. Leave no trace. You know, and some of that is absolutely on point. But to keep from wearing out the trail, I don't mind the steps in the bridge. I think those actually help and serve a purpose for leaving no trace, even though they're bam, a trace. When you wear the bank out on both sides, which leads to when a deluge rains a lot, the deluge comes through and picks up that loose soil and wears it out even more. I think that the bridge may preserve wilderness, even though it's, you know, it ain't wilderness looking. When you got a bank wore out on both sides where it looks like cattle been coming through there, then that ain't exactly leaving no trace either. So I'll pick just a hair bit of infrastructure over that because it sure makes it easier to get across. If you have the Atlas guides uh, and you're only using that to plan your hike, um, it will not show you all the water sources or the bridges. If you'll just do a Google search for Foothills Trail, South Carolina interactive map, you'll find a great interactive map there and it looks like it shows you every bridge and water source there is so I would recommend that that was guide's good for on trail but interactive guide you know if I've been thinking about it I might have just took screenshots of it and saved it to my phone but anyhow so good so far and See what this sign says up here. Should be coming to a road crossing here, which will be like the six mile mark, I believe. All right, so this is, we've come 3.6. Tennessee campsite, Lick Log campsite is 4.7. So we're going to Tatuga campsite, I believe. I'll look at my map in a little bit, but anyhow, that's a little campsite down there and it's right by a water source so that's in it short mileage in all right charlie mike and we are we're going east so we are eastbound and down loaded up in trucking we're gonna do what they say can't be done so one thing is the Boy Scouts have put these markers up at, they say they have put cisterns up. This is a creek down here, so I'm not ex exactly sure 
what they mean by a cistern. Typically, it's a cistern. Oh, yeah, I do. It is a container. So they've got a container down there, I guess, where you can come and get water. Maybe that's a, a dipper or something. We're going to open it up and find out. But it's a water source that the Boy Scouts have put together. Oop, didn't mean to go that way. All right. Uh, yeah, it was just a plastic pipe with a dipper of water in the bottom. Uh, and they've done that and marked it with those reflectors in various places. So, I mean, that's, that's good. I don't know if it's necessary when you got all this water flowing right here, but hey, thank you guys anyway. I'm sure that was somebody's Eagle project. Ain't that right, Griff? That's right. Somebody did a good, good job. That's right. Somebody did a good job. I noticed the bridge back there, one of them newer bridges. Boy, these are some bridge building folks right here, ain't they? Nice. One of them was... I appreciate them totally. Oh, me too. Yeah. Uh, one of those was a uh, Boy Scout, Eagle Scout project. I thought that was pretty cool. All right, so we just left Nicholson Ford Road. About a half mile to the campsites that I believe are down here around the Chattooga River. Uh, that'll put us at 8-2 for the day. Uh, we're only half a mile away, so I don't, uh, and we got, if you look up there, we got plenty of sun. I would say at least two hours of sun. So I, the issue is, the unfamiliar with the trail and the map I've got doesn't really show any great campsites. And this is kind of an organized campsite or the designated campsite. So I'm, um, we'll see when we'll get there and make the call. Uh, but personally, I'd probably like to go another couple miles. Just, uh, if I got daylight, I want to hike. I'm not much for uh, after the sun goes down stuff. I can get my stuff together in 30 minutes and cook by headlight if I had to. But anyway, we're going to see when we get down here. There are some falls, which if we stopped here would afford us some time to go see those and take some photos, make some JPEGs. We'll see when we get down here. And, but anyway, so far, the eight miles we've done in, trail's really been good. Good treadway, not a lot of rocks and roots. Um, it's just uh, the maintenance on it is awesome. And if you're with the Foothills Trails Conservancy or somebody that works on these trails, bravo, clap, clap to you. Um, done, a, done a good job so far. All right, we are coming in and we'll chat with y'all, get to camp, be interested to see how many folks are down here and how many folks show up later. I don't know how big a site it is. The anti-gravity map really kind of leaves a lot for details. Um, I'm used to having a little more detail. Of course, I'm used to being able to summon up gut hooks so, um, there is a, on, um, oh, I can't remember the app now, All Trails, there you go. It has this trail on it, uh, and I could have downloaded it, but typically I'm on the AT, and, uh, I, uh, I just didn't want, didn't feel like I needed to pay the access for all trails to be able to download you can look at the you can plan and look at their trails that are on there uh, but you can't download it without having the subscription which is really not that bad to be honest with you i'm just cheap anyhow we'll uh we'll deal with it when we get down there and make that decision all right chat with you when we get to camp 
All right, I'm thinking this is one of the campsites. I think there'll probably be some more. I think I hear the river down there or something. There's plenty of water around here. Man, you could get about a, a dozen, 20 tents in here and stuff. Plenty of room in here. Plenty of logs to sit on, cook and everything. So, yeah. We're gonna go on up trail, see what opens up up there. I think at this point, once we hit the Chattooga River, we're probably just gonna keep on going until we find a campsite and take it from there. Here's a, here's one of them older bridges. So you've seen some new bridges. They've, they've had some bridges in here for a while. Man, this is really nice. Have to not have to ford it. If you saw my Vermud video, you saw where I talked about the hardware cloth. It'd be a good idea to have hardware cloth on those. Um, they've obviously been here a while, not loaded up with mud, particularly like what happened in Ver Vermud. Vermont uh, but um, in the trail really don't look like it gets too muddy here to load up that bridge with anything to make it slick all right so there'll be some waterfalls around here lick log and pig pen out here something coming up so hopefully we'll be able to show you some waterfalls on day one of the foothills hike I'm thinking this is Lick Lock Falls. The sign said two tenths of a mile. This ain't two tenths. Kind of goes back up in there a ways. Boy, if it was hot, that'd be a nice pond to swim in. We'll stay in your tent. You must have a problem every time he does that to you. <laughs> That's right. All right. So we might as well go ahead and while there's but silence here. Let's go ahead and introduce yourself to the world here. So who we got? I'm a mouthful. That's okay. We're out in the woods. I know. I'm Nancy and this is Mako. Yep. Hey Mako. He's my standard poodle. Awesome. Also, our bear alert system. That's yes. exactly, and he does because he growls. Good. He well, just let him sleep with me. When he growls, do you follow? Because we all know. <laughs> <laughs> I know when we did it, Alter was like, he he was growling. It was just deer going through our campsite. But yeah, he's 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 on high kind of high alert. All right, introduce yourself. I'm Gryffindor. Gryffindor, and tell us uh, what was your your big thing that you did last year? I'm a 2020 Nobo hiker. Wow. And he told me that he made it as far as this big mountain in Maine called Katahdin. <laughs> we got another enough, right? another through hiker over here. Introduce yourself. I'm Pavo and I also was a 2020 uh, Nobo through hiker. And you hit that big big sign on Katahdin. All right, here we got a wannabe. Introduce yourself. I'm I'm Kurt from Pennsylvania. Kurt from Roxylvania. From Roxylvania. It's awesome. Ready to try my attempt this year. Okay. I should say in 22. All right. All right, your turn. Oh, it must be me. That's you. I'm Evan from Maryland. Evan the, from Maryland. The shortest state on the AT. <laughs> and Maryland's a cakewalk, ain't that yeah, right? Come along. Pretty much, <laughs> compared to about everything else. <laughs> so there's come along, y'all know him. And if you don't know me, I'm Ram Dino. And we're all out here enjoying creation, enjoying the woods. We're doing about 77 miles, something like that. That is the plan. We'll see what happens with the weather. We've also got uh, fresh ground is out here. He's kind of um, supporting us a little bit, but we're not going to depend on him. Right, Fresh Graham? He's watching this, so I can say that. All right, we will catch y'all up the trail later.